welcome back to my channel. I'm Bethany and today I thought I would do a fun little comparison video for you um, on the Speedy B25 from Louis Vuitton and the Marc Jacobs mini tote bag in leather. If it's something you're interested in and um, considering both bags and can't decide, I hope this video helps you pick your bag. So if it's something you're interested in, keep on watching. So we are going to start comparing these bags. Um, they are very, very similar in size, but very, very, very different in price. Um, I'm going to switch these because my notes are on these sides. Um, we will start with the dimensions on the Speedy. It is 9.8 inches in length, it is 7.5 inches in height, and it's 9.5 inches in width. All right, and then the Marc Jacobs the tote bag, it is 10 in length, 8 in height, and 5 in width. So, very, very similar in size, a little bit different um, shape. This one's more square. This one's a little more rounded, but honestly, they fit basically the exact same amount. Um, I have done little videos on TikTok and stuff. They fit pretty much the same thing. Both fit a notebook. I have my little notebook here. Both of them um, can fit it easily. Um, they, The Speedy cannot fit the notebook if you have an organizer in it, but if you have it just empty, it will fit. Um, both are zip top closures. So here's the Speedy. And then Inside just has one um, zipper pocket. This one's pretty small. Um, and then this has like a little keychain hook that I don't know who really uses that. And then the tote bag, the zipper goes all the way. Oh, let me take this strap out. It goes all the way, opens up nice and big. This doesn't have a zipper pocket, but it has like a nice big uh, slip pocket. Okay, so I thought I would show you what fits inside um, both of them real quick. So I have a notebook um, that can fit in here. Again, this is without a um, organizer. So that fits. I just have my little pink pouch. my um, wallet and then I have some other random things that fit in here I have my lotion always need ibuprofen or Tylenol some hand sanitizer always need a lip gloss or a lipstick I have mints and a powder. That fits all in there uh, with plenty of room to spare. Um, I do sometimes put this camera in here when, um, like if I need, need the camera, you know, whatever. Um, that does fit in here too. It's a Sony A5100, so that also fits in here. Um, I don't really have anything else to put in here right now, but you could definitely fit like a full size wallet or a compact wallet, you know, even probably like a little um, cosmetic pouch or something. So that's that one. And then this, this one is a lot easier to open and see. Um, so same notebook. Same pouch. Wallet. And then my ibuprofen can fit in here, no problem. I usually put these like littler things in this slip pocket. Um, hand sanitizer. I 
have my powder, my mint, um, and that is all that I had in the Speedy. Again, I can fit more in here. I can also fit this camera with all of this stuff inside here if I needed. So yeah, there you have what fits in both of them. And both of them come with adjustable um, crossbody straps. So they both can be worn crossbody or top handle. So that's great because it's very convenient to have hands free. Okay, this is where I have them each on me. So, you know, very similar in size. They, I keep them about the same exact length. I didn't even realize that apparently I like the length that I have. So see what I mean with the strap? If the strap just came down, it wouldn't be, my arm wouldn't hit it or anything, but really not that big a deal. I don't really care that much. Sometimes it's also nice to hold your bag by the top handle um, and you can do that with either bag. So the Speedy is a canvas material. Um, you can kind of tell like just a canvas. All of the light piping and all the handles, that is leather. Um, that is just the leather part. So not a lot of leather for the price. The tote bag is a full leather bag, which is really nice. And you can wear it both ways. You can wear it this way or this way um, to be more discreet. Right now it is, no, it's not December. Right now it is November 18th, 2022. And right now the Speedy um, 25 Bandolier goes for $18.20 US dollars. And the Marc Jacobs the tote bag goes for $375. So big, big difference in price. Okay, so that's pretty much the information about the bags. Um, there are a few cons. Um, I'll start with the Speedy because we've been going with Speedy first. Um, cons. It is the leather. The leather is very, very difficult um, to maintain and not get water spots on. I had this bag for I think about a year before I knew about the Apple Guard. And um, had I known about that, I think it would have given saved me a, a lot of headaches <laughs> because I was so careful with it and I tried really hard not to get any water spots on it, but I still got water spots on it. Um, but I mean, that's kind of what you get for getting a um, bag with Vachetta on it from Louis Vuitton um, that's not pre-treated. So they do have some that are pre-treated. Um, I feel like a lot of their newer stuff is pre-treated, um, their newer styles, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. The Damier Ben print, the checkered print has like dark, dark brown handles and all this is dark brown. That would be way easier. That that wouldn't even you wouldn't even have to think about it. I mean, so I, the thing is with this is I don't take it very often, um, just because where I live, it like you never know if it's gonna rain. But I try to take her out as much as I can because I do love her. Maybe I will take her out tomorrow. We'll see if I even go anywhere tomorrow. I don't know. Um, the other con for this is the opening. It is fairly small, so it is kind of hard to get in there. Um, if you have an organizer and you have everything in the compartments or like in bags, it's really not that bad. It's not that hard to get in to find your stuff um, as long as you're organized. So if you're not organized, then it's a little bit of a pit and that's not fun. Um, okay, so we will do the cons for the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I should think about this one because I have been using this every single day since I got it and that is not like me. I I change my bags like pretty much every day that I, I when I go to work I don't use any bags. I just take my mini pochette and go on my way and then I'll work three days in a row, have a day off so I'll take a bag out, work a day, won't use a bag and then have my next two days off so I'll use bags. So this bag. 
the only thing I could think of that was like a con, and I don't even know if it's a con, is the handles. Um, I sort of wish the handles would flop down like the speedy one. See how they just flop. Um, I think it would be a little bit more comfortable wearing it crossbody if I if the straps flop down like that, but it's really not that big a deal to me. <sighs> I don't really care, but it is nice that you can use both of them top handle, but both of them crossbody. Because sometimes it's nice to have a top handle bag. Sometimes it's nice to just be hands free, go shopping, put your um, crossbody strap on. So it kind of just depends on what your preference is. Okay, so I know this is a comparison video, but I don't really want to sway you in any way. Um, if you love the Speedy, get the Speedy. You will love the heck out of this and it will be a forever bag. It will never go out of style. With this one, it could go out of style. Um, yes, you did pay for a fraction of the price of the from the Speedy, but you know, who's to say in two years this is even gonna be a cool bag anymore? No one. So <clears throat> that's kind of where I lie on the debate. Uh, classic will never ever go out of style. Um, no matter what anyone tells you, it will not. I don't care what people say about that. It won't go out of style. It just won't. It is the original handbag from Louis Vuitton. You will never see this not around. That is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed my comparison videos on these two bags. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you check out my TikTok and my Instagram, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You need a plug. So nice.